says that my husband's not hearing correctly, but she like kind of mumbles it. She's like, yeah, he's not hearing correctly. And then I come out and I boldly say, I said, we are prophets and we both hear from God correctly in Jesus name. The words, Jesus is king. And then I heard the Lord say, look at this date here. And I see October 22nd, today's the 23rd, right? Yeah, this morning, September the 23rd, I heard around 2 a.m. There will be a shift in the economy. Banking systems will fail. And God showed me um, all of these banks in their low. And when I saw this vision, I heard the Lord say again, this is for October 22nd. Do you remember that clip from false prophetess Camille Hedrick? Well, she made the prediction based upon what God has supposedly told her back on October the 22nd when we had a little fun with that, when we, every, a lot of you, you went to the store, we ate, some got Chinese food, I got my wings, I got all kind of my burger, and we had a great time and our bank cards were still working. But she has changed up her tactics. She made a video. Look at this right here as I show you. This is her latest video of how to basically spot false prophets. So a, a false prophet is telling you how to spot another false prophet. But she has changed her tactics up. I talked about her in a previous video where I said I was going to tell you somebody that's trying to be slick to change their tactics up. Well, she cut her comments off. So no longer because people started, you know, calling her out. She's one of these ones, if you notice, a lot of these false prophets and prophetesses and all of them, they are into this cryptocurrency, gold, all of this kind of stuff, having people invest and lose their money. And after her so-called prophecies about all of this investments and bank stuff and all of this stuff, oh, they cut the comments off and pulled a whole bunch of videos down. So there's a whole lot of videos down that she then took away and trying to act like as if nothing ever happened and so but look at this video i got this video to show you when she was under pressure she's pulled it down but when she was under pressure and people started to call her out as being a false prophetess her and her husband sean they're both together look at this this is them so-called she tried to make herself look more like she's you know standing in right order and, and doing things the correct way so she's out supposedly evangelizing in a park with nobody around you might you see a few people walking across the sidewalk in a distance but they decided to set up shop in a park with no one around to make it look like they're doing the work of the lord take a look and he's coming back whether you want to believe it or not jesus is real and it's time it's time to accept him into your life as Lord and Savior. He loves you. He left as a lion, but he's coming back as a lamb. And that's the part of Jesus that people don't want to accept. They don't want to realize. They think that Jesus was some uh, some type of hippie, uh, peaceful type. Of, and, he, and he was peaceful, but Jesus was bold. Jesus preached hell because he didn't want people to go there. And he's coming back as a roaring lion. He's not coming back the way he left. I got let go of my job back in 2020, right? And it took for me to get let go of my job to really start hearing from God. I had an encounter with the Lord. I was having encounters in my house. And you see that? She's out there. That this is after the pressure was getting ramped up and things. But that video's gone. There's a whole lot of other videos gone. But she's continuing on. Now, all of a sudden, she's the prophetess that's trying to tell you how to spot somebody else that's fake. And this is the thing. I tell you, these young folks, a lot of these young folks have somehow jumped on this bandwagon and utilizing YouTube for whatever monetary gain, fame, whatever they're trying to do and using the Lord's name in vain. And it's a shame. Look at this young girl right here where she claims that the Lord has basically verified to her that this Camille Hendrick 
and her husband basically are real prophets. Listen to this crazy dream that she supposedly had that verifies that. Take a look. What is going on, everybody? I got something exciting to share with you. Of visions that I had uh, of a few people the Lord gave me. And I'm excited to share it because they really follow the Lord. And the Lord is revealing who is true and who is not. So pay attention and just listen. The vision, the first vision that I had was, it was like of a zombie. And the picture, like the, the vision picture was like dark green. And the zombie looking person was, it wasn't a zombie. It was a person that looked like he was, you know, a zombie. And I heard the Lord say dead, like that person, dead, like spiritually. And they, their clothes was ripped up and they was like hunched over and walking slow. After I saw that, I saw crowds of people, like a whole bunch of people. And um, like I saw heads, not bodies, but I saw a whole bunch of heads, crowds of people. And um, after that, I saw a rope. I saw a rope. And this rope, um, it was it looked as if it was coming from the sky, but I had a knowing it was coming from a helicopter. And so when the people, the crowds of people that saw this rope, they started running, like hawking to this rope. So they started climbing up this rope. And as they climbed up this rope, the Lord is revealing to me who was in the helicopter. The driver of the helicopter was Camille, Camille Hedrick. And then a person that was in the helicopter in the helicopter started like he lifted his hand out and he started to pull people up. And that person was her husband, Sean Hedrick. He started to pull people up um, that was climbing up the rope. And you see that this is the kind of stuff we're dealing with. You know, I noticed one thing about the younger this younger generation. There's a group that's on fire, truly fire for the Lord. And then there's this group that's deceived and think they know everything. You know, when you're young, you know, one of the things is young folks think they know everything. You can't, I mean, they don't, they don't realize that us folks, you know, when I was like that when I was younger, you know, they don't realize that there's people been there, done that. There's nothing new under the sun. It's been there, done that. And they don't understand, you know, you 20-something, late teens, you know, all of that. You still got so much to learn, so much to learn. And these folks act like that they know so much about the, the they'll try to tell you, argue with you about certain scriptures and this, that, and that, and half of them just, just getting out the diapers, a lot of them, and stuff. Now, I'm not saying that young people can't be rooted and found, uh, you know, rooted in the Lord and have that strong foundation. But a lot of these folks, it's this more so they jumped on the trend. They jumping on the trend. They're jumping on the trend of a channel, trend of a church that, you know, the church ain't teaching the sound doctrine or that so-called pastor or whatever you want to call it. They're not teaching sound doctrine or anything. They just jump on the bandwagon because everyone is going there. The church is caught up in emotionalism or is telling them things that they want to hear within the political realm. All of that kind of stuff. That's the kind of stuff that's going on. So you get caught up into that. And you can't get caught up into that. You, and you, it's a dangerous thing. I told this story before. When I first got saved, I knew, and I'm going to tell you how I knew I was called to the ministry based upon my dreams. That how the Lord confirmed it through a few things, but through dreams, because I told you I'm a dreamer. I'm going to share that with you in a separate video. But I'm told this before. When I, I was going to go off to a Bible, a Bible college here in town, and I've talked about him before. He's a crazy false pastor. He's hung out. Uh, he's at one of these events that Marcus Rogers, I believe, is somebody's going to be there. I think, no, he was at the event that Greg Locke and some of these others were at, Pastor Rod Parsley here at World Harvest Church in town. And he's, I mean, he's was kind of okay in the beginning. And then he began, I've been to the church. I know people that's there. They act like they better than everybody else. I mean, I got a lot of stories that I could share about that church and how, and, and how he, how he is. But he, I, he had his Bible college that had, you know, that people were coming from all over. 
to go there that he had started. And when I first got saved, I was so excited and I wanted to go. I was like, oh, I want to go to that. And thank God, I would, that's what happened to when I was going to the new church I was going to at that time. And I was talking to this deacon and telling him, yeah, I'm going to go to sign up to World Harvest Bible College and blah, 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 and all of that stuff. Long story short, he told the pastor. The pastor said, no, I want you to have a meeting with me. And you know, we need to talk. And he more so guided me and steered me right in the direction of not going down that road. I was I thank the Lord that he protected me from that. And that's the thing with these young folks. A lot of them, they don't have nobody to protect. They don't have no one to protect them because their parents, a lot of these younger folks, their parents, this younger generation, their parents ain't walking with the Lord. They didn't basically where their their grandma and, and all of that kind of stuff that they, they try to tell them about the Lord or maybe took them to church when they were little and, and, and through the years and they more so have brushed the Lord aside. And then they end up having these kids and this lawless generation of young folks that don't care about the Lord. They've added to things and come up with their own, you know, religious ideologies and all of this stuff. And they're lost. And then they want to come, and when they do and get involved in these ministries and this emotionalism and all of these people that seem popular and yeah and this and that, but they don't understand that these folks are wolves that they're following. And when you go to tell them, they think they know everything. They don't want to hear it. Well, you know what? One thing you have to do is learn the hard way, because that's one thing that folks, young folks, you do have to learn. You, you my uncles. Uh, brother, my uncle's brother used to always say, you can pay me now or pay me later. And I, and he, he would say that when I was young and teenager and things. And he was talking about, you're going to pay the price. You know, you keep doing what you're doing, you know, living like how you're living, doing whatever, whatever you'll pay for it. You know, and he would talk, he analogy talking about your car. You don't take care of that car that you got your little car that you didn't bought, change the oil, do the proper things. You know, you're going to pay for it later. And a lot of these folks, they're going to pay for it later. A lot of these people that's following these false teachers and messengers, all of them, and adults as well. It's not until you fall flat on your face and you realize it. You're going to think you know. You're going to have to bust your head until hopefully you wake up. Because that's, that's, that's what it's going to come down to. You're going to see that people, you're going you're gonna to see, man, I should have listened to grandma. Man, I should have listened to my mother or, or, or whoever. Yeah, that's what it's going to come down to. And you know what? But on this channel, we'll continue to just shine the light. And hopefully people will wake up. Some people here, there, we're not trying to, we're just trying to do our best to this. Whether it's one, two, three people, it doesn't matter. That's a soul that has been, you know, that the Lord can save and, and turn away from deception. That's all we worry about here is steering people on the right track. Let the Lord dust you off, get you on firm foundation and move you along the way so he can carry out the will that he has for your life. That's what we do here. So we talk about the issues the church run away from, expose Satan his devices, punch him right in between the chops. Evangelism for God is the channel. My name is Maurice Braxton. If you're new, consider subscribing, hit like, coming along for the journey because we're going to march on and march forward. And false prophets, as I said, you're on notice because we're getting ready to expose a few people that you ain't seen. They're under the radar here. Some more smaller ones. But I want you to see what's going on with these folks because they got a following. And these ones, the, you know, anytime you got a following, these people that are following are in great danger because there's a, a propensity. There's a likelihood that they're they're going to grow. Because the enemy is growing these channels and false ministries at like never before. Like never before. So just be on the lookout. Stay on guard. Continue to stay in prayer. We'll continue to stay in prayer. And thanks for your support, guys. So continue to stand with me as we stand against the enemy and his dirty tactics. Take care. God bless.